One train up. That's okay. There's no one here, so whatever, bro. Hey yo, what is up Thrill Seekers? Today I am here with my dad at Six Flags America. So um, we're only here for like an hour and a half because we got to get up to New Jersey so that we can do Six Flags uh, Great Adventure tomorrow, um, which is going to be super fun. But um, we're going to try to get some rides on a couple things. But anyways, going to head in. Should be a pretty awesome day though. And here we are, Six Flags America. This entrance is honestly one of the better entrances that I've seen at Six Flags Parks. It's better than Six Flags Magic Mountain in my opinion. Um, not quite better than Fiesta Texas, but it is really nice. Firebird. We will not be riding <laughs> that today. Super Luke. Let's go. Super Luke. Yeah, wild one. It's like a walk-on, so flash pass isn't really needed yet. Um, is no one gonna go to the back or <laughs> one train up? That's okay. There's no one here, so whatever, bro. Oh, there is that. Something that I told him is that something that I like about Screaming Eagle um, at Six Flags St. Louis, um, it has the same type of restraint, but the maximum that it can go down is like a click or two above the maximum here. Um, so because of that, you get a lot more room here. As suit, like I was trying to hold it up, I was like really trying, but as soon as we got into a valley, like. They literally clicked two more times and was like in my legs. So that was unfortunate. And into Gotham City again. There's some nice buildings here. Like it, it's a nice looking park. All right, Joker's Jinx. It's actually open. And I still love, I love the Joker on here. <laughs> Look at how derpy he looks. Yeah, it's always a really fun ride. Um, that one is a lot smoother and it runs a little bit faster than the one at Fiesta Texas, so I actually like Joker's Jinx a little bit more than Poltergeist. Um, I think that's about to change just because the experience of Poltergeist is gonna be better once it gets redeemed, but for now, Joker's Jinx is a little bit superior. Do you agree? I agree. Yeah. yeah. I like the, how it sped up at the end. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Poltergeist doesn't do that quite as much, so. Yeah, all right, next up, Superman. Based on the fact that there's an operator outside and there's nobody in the station, is it bad? That's it. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, uh, it doesn't look like it's open. That's okay. Let's go ride Batman and maybe we can come back and check. Sorry, I called it Batman. It's actually Batwing. Oh, such a big difference, I know. Oh, there you go. Something, by the way, guys, that they told us at the front gate, um, or at least, or sorry, whenever we were get, getting in for parking, um, masks are required indoors here at the park. So make sure that you have your mask with you. 
Okay, I love Mr. Freeze. His rides are great. But he's just a dude with a fishbowl on his head. There's actually people at Batwing? What? There you go. There he comes. They definitely added these auto steals since the last time we were here. That's actually cool. I like that. Also, at this park and other parks, um, they can walk around the station platform if there's a train not in the station. Like, if there's a train not moving in the station. If there's a train moving in the station, then it doesn't work. Uh, okay. Well, hello. Something cool, um, I mean this ride is really intense. I honestly think this is the best ride in the park. It's really, really fun. Um, this and Roar actually, which uh, a lot of people don't like Roar. I love Roar, Roar is really cool. Um, but anyways, the loop on this has a similar level of intensity as like a pretzel loop on a B&M dive. We're gonna grab, I need something to drink and then we can ride Roar, use our dining plan to get some food and then head out. Yeah. R.I.P. Superman though. Dang. Also, I love how they have like a family raft ride just kind of in the middle of the dry park. But, okay. Honestly though, Hartley Quinn may be the best ride at this park. I mean, we're not gonna ride it today, but it's kind of funny. All right, roar. Uh, this is actually a really nice plaza. I, I like this. Firebird looks pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of people in line because it's running one train, of course. Uh, anyways, gonna do roar, but first, drinks. All right, here we go. Roar time. Wow. It's rain and um yeah, roar, roar, I feel like it beats you up a lot more than I remember it did, so not not the best of rides, but Superman is open, so let's go ride. I have to say, Superman was open, but I haven't seen a train go in a bit, so I don't know. It's definitely not, well, it's like starting to stop raining, so it's definitely not down for weather. A few moments later. So it started like torrential downpouring. Um, it's not anymore, but everyone cleared out of the Superman line. I guess they said that everyone has to leave the line. I don't know why, but okay. Um, anyways, we're just vibing under here. Alrighty, after a long wait for lunch, um, we are going to go over and ride Superman, because it is back open. Here we are, back at Superman Ride of Steel. Let's do this. 
And here we are. Back row time. Let's do it. Why are there so many empty seats though? Oof, ride faulted. R.I.P. There it goes. That's wrong. Uh -huh. Yeah, the e-stop on the back panel over here was actually pressed, so um, they just pulled it out and then it was like, oh, whoopsies. And then they dispatched it. <laughs> funny their uh, PA system isn't working so she's kind of just <laughs> yeah their uh, their PA system isn't working so they're just kind of yelling <laughs> um, which is interesting at Fiesta Texas we shut down immediately for that because if we end up if we have to like communicate with people on the lift or something then we need the PA system, but here, from my knowledge, they can just walk up and talk to them, so this is not really needed. There you go. That was a lot better than I remember it. It was pretty good. Um, definitely the best ride in the park, for sure. The drop uh, was pretty good. Um, it started out amazing, and then it, I, like, I thought it was gonna like be just a tiny bit steeper um, but uh, you know the airtime hill the first big one was pretty good um, towards the end of the ride it was really aggressive whenever it hit the brakes it hurt really bad because you like slam for it's like a full throttle type of moment where there's like brakes not on the drop but if you're in the back row the front car is hitting the brakes as you're like at the top so you're like oh, oh. I slammed my shins into the shin guards. Um, again, I don't like the restraints on this ride, but oh well, it was pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for our day here at Six Flags America. I'm gonna do an outro on the way, like kind of more towards the front. Bye, Felicia. And with that, that's gonna conclude. I'm gonna wait till the copyright meet is uh, not here. And with that, that's going to end our day here at Six Flags America. Uh, honestly, this park is not bad at all. Um, I Superman is totally like a, a lot higher in my rankings now. Um, it's, you know, you could kind of call it a standout attraction for them, kind of. Um, I think that they need something else too, like maybe RMC Roar or something along those lines, and then it would be a lot, a lot better of a park. Um, but uh, I honestly think their main thing, they just need to fix like really small policies and stuff. You know, the food was not great, <laughs> um, at least for me. Um, you know, they kept having to walk back and forth to the back to get the food, which was like in a different room for some reason even though there were places to put it in the same room. Um, you know, like kicking everyone out of line when it starts raining for some reason instead of letting them stay under the cover when they're about to open it in 10 minutes. I don't know, just random stuff like that. It's like, like stuff, stuff that doesn't really happen at other Six Flags parks that you don't really think about because it's like normal to do this this park does it a different way and it kind of works against you um but other than that it's a pretty good park highly recommend stopping by here grabbing the credits um you don't really have to spend a full day here maybe like you know what we did it first time in like four hours i think um without fast passes or anything there's like no one here ever so anyways with that i will see you guys all next time remember like subscribe share all of those things we're gonna go to i think six more amusement parks on this trip so look out for those vlogs coming soon in my vlogs playlist up here and i'll see you guys on this peace out <laughs>